Yo, what it do guys, and welcome to the official Warframe guide for Grendel by a true Grendel main. I give a 100% guarantee that in this video, you will learn everything you need to know about this belovable meatball or your money back. Now, before we begin, I would want you guys to know about my background and history with Grendel. So I'm gonna put this as short and as sweet as I can. I have invested 100 former into my Grendel. The reason why I did this was because I'm just obsessed with him. And between us, I'll let you in on the secret, 100 former is just not enough for this guy. I am the only Warframe player to be knighted by Digital Extremes to be revealed as the true Grendel main. I have been given this early release of Grendel's Noggle, and I am currently the only player in game to actually have one to this very day. Many thanks to DE for making my dreams come true. And finally, a really well-known, popular, big time and big shot YouTuber by the name of Tactical Potato recognized my greatness with this Warframe and he gave me a wonderful shout out in his video. So I wanted to return the favor and tell you guys that if you ever need Hydroid advice, then please head over to his channel and ask away. I personally believe that he is the number one Hydroid main in Scotland, where he is from. So thank you for all of the support run. I owe you one. Now, with that being said, let's begin by having a look into his kit and why he's more superior than your favorite frame. Passive. Synergizes with his first ability, Feast. For every enemy stored inside Grendel's gut, he gains 50 bonus armor displaying on your HUD in the top right hand corner. So keep stocking up those enemies and become the jiggliest jelly tank that you've always wanted to. Feast. Tap the ability to swallow an enemy and store it inside Grendel's gut. Any enemy stored inside your stomach will permanently lose armor over time for every second spent inside. The more enemies you store inside, the more energy it will drain faster within your energy pool. Hold the ability to vomit out any enemies inside your stomach, coating them in a toxic bile with 100% toxin status dealing damage over time. Now this damage does scale with enemy level. Grendel is all about eating and keeping people inside his body. The perfect date combination. Nourish. Tap the ability to cycle freely between different buffs that Grendel can cast towards himself and his allies. Nourished energy. Increase the energy points gained multiplicatively from energy sources, such as energy orb pickups, energy abilities, or even mods such as Rage, Hunter's Adrenaline, or even Energy Siphon. Nourished Armor encases Grendel with a Toxin Infusion, which discharges every second, inflicting toxin damage to enemies nearby. Nourished Strike provides additional toxin damage to weapons. It's kind of like a Toxin Elemental mod, to put it simply. Hold the ability when you have cycled to the buff you want for Grendel to stomp the ground. This will be digesting enemies in order of you eating them, inflicting toxin damage to the enemy and recovering a portion of Grendel's health per cast. Regurgitate. Grendel spits out a consumed enemy from within his gut, traveling at the speed of light. When that enemy reaches contact with a surface or other enemies, it will inflict a burst of toxin damage. Also, inflicting toxin damage if it is spat at a group of enemies or any enemies that are standing in front of Grendel's stomach at close proximity. Now, as good as it may taste, Grendel doesn't always swallow. Sometimes, chat, it's safer to spit. Pulverize. Forget everything you want to know about Warframes and let's channel your inner meatball. By activating his fourth ability, Grendel becomes a traveling Pokeball, rolling towards enemies and scattering them like Skittles. Now I could go on and on with the jokes here, but I'll stop for now, so let's roll on with the video. Whilst traveling in this form, Grendel damages and inflicts toxin damage to enemies inside his stomach per second. You are able to jump within your ball form, and whenever you impact the surface again, enemies will take impact damage on collision. Grendel has also broken a record as being the only ball without arms to climb walls. I'm not overly sure what you can do with this information, but please climb responsibly. This ability will drain more energy per second if you have no enemies left inside your gut, so it's best to stop and feast again to go and get yourself some more fuel. Fun fact, as popular as he is, it's unsure if Grendel was actually used as the Wrecking Ball in Miley Cyrus's music video, and it's still debated upon by intellects to this very day. Let me know in the comments section if you happen to notice him featuring elsewhere outside of World of Warframe. Now that we have covered his kit and his abilities, here is a general build that I tend to use for my Grendel. 
I mostly focus around survivability and nourish buffs, pairing them with duration and strength to get greater returns. As for yourself, you're more than welcome to try different builds and play around with them. With the Helminth, this can open up more possibility for your builds. I mostly enjoy pairing him with Valkyr's Warcry to turn him into a melee tank for my missions. And with that guys, this concludes my Grendel guides. I'm really happy to bring you this video. It's actually been the highlight of my week so far, and I hope this has helped you understand this lovable Warframe. I really hope DE never nurse him because he is incredibly strong, and I hope not too many people play him in my missions because then the game would just be too easy, so lay off him guys. Now if you enjoyed this video and learned a few things about Grendel, then consider giving it a rating by leaving a like. If you have any comments, any, any at all, oh boy will I be looking forward to reading them and helping you out if you have any issues. And finally, if you are new to the channel, come join us more often for more Warframe guides by pressing the subscribe button. Thank you everyone for watching, and shout out to my community over at Twitch for never giving me a dull day, a family to always look forward to whenever I go live. As per usual, I'll be seeing you guys again in the next video. I'm a meatball.